Hey guys, I'm Chopper and welcome to the Chop Shop. Good evening and welcome back to my channel. On tonight's quest, I've scored myself an old electronic hospital bed and I am going to be sticking the frame and the motor up on this so I can jack it up and pull the motor out. I've decided to go with it. I'm painting the frame. It's going a different blue and let's get on with it. As you can see, she's up weight, almost waist level. I can work on this bike awesomely now. Um, it's not that heavy and it's really easy to slide on this, although I am planning to uh, throw a bit of ply board over this to make it all nice and flat and then build the tire lock in so I can lock the, the front end in. Um, I could almost make a jig out of this to do other stuff like uh, for frame builds if I can get into that. Um, one thing I have done is I've done my list uh, Things to buy and things to do the list of things to do uh, Pull the motor and wiring out which I'm about to do now uh, Paint strip the frame which will be tomorrow um, Then it's uh, I'll prime the frame uh, Strip and polish the forks uh, Extend the wiring for the bars that'll be done at a later date. That's not a rush That'll be once I start get everything back together then I'll worry about that and uh, rebuild the carbies, which will be a very, very soon video because I really want to get them done, box them, bag them, and put them away ready to go. Uh, a lot of people have told me to go uh, single carby. I don't like single carby. Uh, I'm a performance guy. One carb per cylinder is good, not uh, just one carby in fresh around the streets. You lose your cruisability in my um, in my knowledge of finding out things uh, the things to buy i've got to get uh, by the extended cables which is the brake line uh, the clutch cable i've got to buy switch blocks new switch blocks um, these ones are a bit daggy uh, uh, what is it else uh, the white wall tires i haven't got them you haven't been had a chance to get down there uh, 2k primer for the frame and for the for the uh, uh, tins um, Spark plugs, oil, leather solar seat, and raked bearing cups. I just want to maybe rake this out just a tiny bit more than standard. Maybe. That's a maybe. I'll see what happens once I get it together. If I think it needs a bit of a raking, I will do so. Uh, other than that, a bit of slight change in the paint plans. I'm, I've been visualizing things. I think the color I'm going is going to be too much. Uh, if left just the guards and the tins or just that one color. So I do have a darker blue uh, It's a metallic blue that I've had for a while and I, I, I come across the tin in the uh, cupboard of things and I thought man, is this paint still good? I think I bought it maybe four years ago. The paint's fine um, I give it a stir up and I looked at it. I thought I remember getting this mixed up. It was beautiful I was gonna uh, use it. What was I gonna use it on? I think it was another bike perhaps but I'm going to be doing two tone. So the tank's going to have it on the sides, the guard's going to have the dark blue over the tops and the light blue on the sides, and the frame will also go with the darker blue. And uh, that's about all I can say for now. Um, air pump, I believe taking the air pump off is good for when you're tuning it for performance. I've been sent a, uh, a little write up on it. So I'm going to read through that and find out whether removing the air pump is good. Apparently it stops the, uh, backfiring on deacceleration, which I had a lot on my other bike and I've played with the carbies so much and I've got it down to a minimum, but it's still done it and it's bloody annoying. You know, you go to back off and instead of getting a nice note, you're getting all this pop, 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 pop. It sounds like a load of popcorn machine. Uh, and that's where we're up to so far. So right now I'm gonna be draining the oil and removing the motor.
So down to getting this air pump out and the last couple of engine mount bolts. Um, what took about two minutes of you guys to watch was about, I don't know, a good 40 minutes. I got stuck on one screw for the coil, the front coil. And it um, must have been made out of butter or something because the second I turned it, it just, it just dissolved. And uh, I'm just down to these Allen key bolts here now that are absolutely ridiculous to try and undo. So I'm going back and forth, I think it's mainly because it's, they've probably been hit with rocks in the position that they're in. And I'm trying to drag them through the thread. And, uh, but they're coming there, they're coming out a bit by bit. This is um, most likely going to be a deleted system anyway, but I've got to look at, like I said in the previous few minutes of this video, I've got to look into it a bit more, see if it's going to be worth it or not. If I can delete this system and stop that deceleration popping, I'll be a happy camper. This one's even tighter than that last one. It's sort of been cracked. It's just, it must be dunced up. <sighs> Here it goes, man. One pump off. Put them back together so it's. I don't do go inside, so I can just get taped to it. Uh, one little screw missing. Where'd that go? Down here. Trying to get everything to stay with each other. Oh. Now I can get to the front engine mount bolt. Oh, oh, wow. What am I doing? Screwing that into nothing. Like I said, going to research this a lot more before I make a final decision. Uh, in front engine mount. Where's, where's this spanner? It's really sure that was a 14, wasn't it? Yeah, 14. Still in full view, yep. That's right. so loose. The tops have to come off. Otherwise, I want to go in anyway. Uh, Alan Key, once again.
I think we're down to the moment of truth here. Um, I think I think we can get it out. I think it's going to happen. Like that's just it's all loose. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to lay it on its side. I'm going to lay it on its side and try to slide the frame off. Then I'll lay it on that side. Because I probably should take that side mount off. I'll quickly take that side mount off. This is my first time, so bear with me. Be patient. Ah. That plate, uh, rear brake light switch. It's fall out now when I go to tip it over. Uh, I didn't drain the oil out of it because I could get under there with the spanner. And uh, here we go. Fault of me. Cover that leak oil everywhere. Blocking the view, guys. Uh, no, something. I don't want to let it go. What is it? Oh, there it is. Come on. Is that ball right there? Yeah. 
yourself to a right bloody pickle here. This will probably make it into the blooper reel. I don't do bloopers. What you see is what's happening. off I need a torque head set for that. I've got to pick up my torque head set and paint strip of the frame now. Truck wash this engine now. Yeah, yeah. Unis are good. Beautiful. So guys that concludes the teardown part two. Grueling effort once again. I strive to uh, uh, entertain you guys. <laughs> Thanks to all the new subscribers and uh, Thanks for all the comments on Facebook as well as YouTube. Um, yeah, so tomorrow's just a big clean up day. Get all, I've got to get this garage sorted and clean this motor, clean this frame and strip the frame down. So uh, until the next video guys, I hope you all enjoy this weekend and have a lovely day.